Well, hello there, Shirley Rocks here. Welcome to Beetle Uprising. So, uh, the developer, I reached out to the developer because I'd seen this on the Steam page and thought it looked pretty interesting and they've kindly sent me a, uh, a key for this. So this is a sneak peek before early access. So bear in mind, this isn't finalized content and things could change completely when this comes into early access. So this is by a studio called uh, Aukane Games and this is a game about beetles, about breeding them, um, using different abilities and dominating the entire vacant uh, lot in this RTS stroke genetic simulation. So I'm hoping this is going to be uh, lots of, uh, you know, me attacking random animals and stuff like that, but I've not played it before, so let us check it out. So we're going to do a new game. Okay. Long and far did the matriarch travel to find us a new home. It's like Battlestar Galactica. She fought for our future. And it gave her courage. Whoa, look at her go. Go green. Wave after wave of the enemy fell before her. And when the enemy committed all to the battle, so did she. Oh, Super Saiyan. Oh, what? She just exploded. And with her passing, we rise and take our place in this world. Oh, cool. So does that mean I, I don't know if I'm a queen or I'm a lowly ant, not a lowly ant, a beetle. Okay, this is the help screen. To get here later, hit escape and select the help button. For now, check out the overview of the game to get a handle on what Beetle Uprising is all about. Okay, you're in control of a fledgling beetle nest left you by the matriarch who died clearing it for you. Your goal is to conquer this beautiful abandoned lot. You start playing in your home nest. This is a safe place for you to breed and raise your beetles. Ah, you'll need to care for your beetles, collecting food and supplies by doing tasks in the abandoned lot. Selectively breeding ever stronger, faster, healthier beetles is a key to your success. Your little beetle, your initial beetles are uh, weak. Completing missions will give you eggs with new genetics. Okay, so you get to breed and make strong ones. Oh, that's quite, quite a good little twist. Um, it's only the map of a vacant lot, but it's the world to, you, to your beetles. From the map, you'll send your beetles on tasks. Ooh, that's interesting. Missions are an RTS engagement on a 3D map. There are tricks and tactics to get the most out of your beetle swarms. Sometimes you need more, you better beetles. If you can't beat a foe, try going back and breeding for the stats you think well, they'll need to succeed. Hmm. So what's this? Oh, this is the good stuff. So this is a quick reference. So the nest. Mm-hmm. So there's your missions up there. Top, well, your objectives, top left. Uh, two was two. There we go. Options, yes. Uh, three is the world map. I assume that's, is that the whole over, overall interface there? Where's three? Oh, it's there. Uh, breeding, nest. Yeah. I think we'll probably have to figure out a lot of this as we go in. Uh, standard Wasada controls. Zoom in and out. Mouse wheel, yes. Uh, Z and C for rotating camera. Nice. Okay, and what about in combat? So can we do groups? I reckon we can. Select group. One, two, three, four, five. How do you assign a group, I wonder? Anyway, it might, it might show us all this when we actually get into it, so... Um, Lots and lots of information there. I'm going to completely skip it all and just go see if there's a tutorial. The beetles need items placed in the nest to thrive. Click on this button to view your inventory. Okay, so what have I got? What item? Oh, hello, Mr. Beetles. Oh, look, we've got some bread. Right, so what items have I got? Double click on an item, move your cursor over the ground at a nest. Click again to place. Hold the shift key down to place multiple copies. Okay, so what have I got then? Pumpkin seed, I've got some bread. Sugar cubes, surely they're good. Let's have a couple of them in the base. Uh, I don't know what use the pumpkin seeds are. <laughs> We're going to put one down now. Bed of grass. Oh look, it's the bed. It's literally a bed. Now, why can I not place the bed? Okay, is that a bed as well? Bed of leaves. 
burlap sack, pet rock, some twine. That's all my items. Right, I've only got I've only got two at the moment. Oh, there we go. I placed another one. So what is that? Are you collecting resources? Okay, so what's the what's the objective then? The game pause simulation time for you. Every time you leave the nest, the game will auto pause simulation. Time for you. You can start it again whenever you want. Turn for auto pause. Yes. It's time to make a swarm to go on a mission. The selected beetle will be used to create a swarm of copies that will enter the battlefield. Making a swarm takes a lot out of a beetle. It's better to take a while to recover. Okay. This slide lets you control the number of units in the swarm. Each unit copy of the beetle in the swarm costs you specified goop. The total goop that will be used to go on the mission is shown at the bottom. When you've selected the beetle you want to copy and I've chosen the swarm size, click begin. Okay, so the mission here is... So what's this? A starting beetle has the basics to get the job done, is particularly lacking in armour. A handful of stragglers from the force defeated by the Matrix are wandering about our doorstep. Roll over them with the unwelcome mat. Okay, so if I, get, if I do one star, I get one star for killing all the enemies, two star for killing them all in less than two minutes, or three star for doing them in a minute and a half, right. So this is a number of... I'm going to send. Let's send them all. Let's go hard. Um. Click here and select a beetle. Oh, I guess I've only got one beetle at the moment. Let's, uh, let's send them out then. Now, do I get to control them? Okay. Okay, so where's the enemy? Where's the enemy? Can't see them. Might be a directional sight. Okay, this is your swarm beetles control. Click on the ground to set the marker where you want them to go. Move them forward. Okay. Forward! Use your mouse wheel to zoom the camera in and out. Try it now and move your beetles forward a bit more. Right, I can't see enemies yet. Move the camera using, yes. Double tap the one key to make the camera follow your swarm. Okay. Your beetles will automatically attack when they are close to enemies. Hold the shift key when you click on the ground to tell your swarm to ignore enemies while marching to the marker. Okay. So I'm looking for enemies. Eject, yes, I've got, I know the objective already, it's kill, kill, kill. Oh, here they are. Here they are. Come on. Don't you be getting away. What? How many? Are these all going to be a pain to get to? Are they all going to be rotating swarms? Come on. Nom, 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 nom. I'm just trying to catch all of it. They're spitting at me. Don't you spit at me. Oh, come on. I really want to get this done in the three star limit time. I'm not going to get this done if these keep uh, running away. Come on. Alright, he's trying to he's trying to get around me. Come on, you could have got that one. Right, come on. Show a force. There's another one over there as well. Right. Hopefully. I don't know if there's some behind the rocks as well. So the level of zoom on this is pretty good. Nice. We did get a three star. Excellent. Ooh, we've got loads of resources. We've got an apple. We've got a nice cotton towel bed. Another pumpkin seed. Um, a blueberry. We got some goop. And we got some XP. Nice. So I wonder if we'll be able to breed. Right, can I put my can I put my apple down then? Where's my inventory gone? I want to put my apple down. Come on. Do I have to drag it? There we go. Delicious apple. So is that my goop? That's the goop. You get goop and you gain a level from tasks. Oh, okay, so I've got three extra objects. Oh, Oh, so this is the map where I can actually go and uh, explore. By exploring areas and conquering missions, you can conquer the whole map. The icon on the map act shows activities your beetles can do to advance the swarm goals. Okay. Click on an icon to show the activity on the right. Tasks and missions for the selected area show up here. You can select a task on the map or from this list and then choose which beetle you want to undertake it. So, I think I've got two beetles. Um, 
Okay, so this is a combat mission. I've already done that one. I believe. Wait a minute, though. Are these additional... Ah, these additional ones. So I can forage. Brings food back to the nest. Um, I can do here, which is scavenge. Finds useful items or... Exploration. Hmm. Let's try and do this one, then. I don't think my beetle uh, is that... Green is great, yellow is red, red is unhappy. Okay. Maybe I need to go... Oh, let's send a different beetle then. Right, let's send a different beetle. You're happy. Let's send you out for an exploration. Okay, so you'll be out for a minute. Okay, and now... So you've gone out on a mission. Now, how do I return back to my nest? Is it just... No, it's not that. Oh, cool. So I can actually... Uh... Oh yeah, I, I know I'm gonna be able to colour my beetle. That's gonna be that's gonna be pretty cool. Right, how do I get back to my nest? There we go. So I've got this one beetle at the moment. There you go. He's just gone out on a mission. So he's healing up now at the moment. Um, beetles need food, fun, rest, and grooming to be happy. So he's just eating loads of food and getting a uh, getting his recuperation mode on. I don't know if we need a pet rock. Let's let's try putting one of these in the base. Come on. Sometimes it's weird the way it selects items. I don't know why. I don't know why it's not letting me select that one. What is he doing? Are you playing with the rope or something? I don't know what you're doing. You are rest. What? Oh yeah, that's it. Get that back. <laughs> Get some of that back rub on. I can zoom around with this as well. Oh, it failed. What? You can come back to the base in... Shame. 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 Oh, hello. You're doing the beetle dance. You shouldn't be too victorious because you didn't actually do the mission. What does that do? Juice the selected beetle. Oh, yeah, let's not do that. I think we need some more food. Right, I can do it. Can I do that with shift? I can do it with shift. Okay, let's... I'm, I'm just placing a load of other things down. I don't think we've got an awful lot of food, so we're going to place all that food down. Uh, I don't think we really need pumpkin seeds at the moment. Let's go back to the beetles. So these now, apparently, are both happy. Ooh. Oh, so these stat these arrows basically means each of these arrows indicates a beetle has a superior or inferior st stat relative to the rest of your colony. So this is the best one to be sending out. Right, in that case then, let's, uh, let's go back on here and let's send you out for some supplies. Now, I can't do goop on this, so let's just do begin. Now, can I send them both out on a task? Let's try. Let's send one out for that and one out for food. Okay, and let's come back to the base. So these are both off out. I really like that. I, li I like the fact that I'm sending them off to do missions, so it's a bit like it's doing... Um, you know, it's like the strategy RPG element of that, but then I'm assuming that when... It hits the fan they are going to actually uh <laughs> they want my services again and if you look down here you can see the time of how long until they actually finish or report back so there's a three three places he wants me to to uh, explore uh air is humus lost beach and red rocks so where are these other places then so there's red rocks there's lost beach and there's uh is to human or humus so I'm going to wait for these to come back. And then I might send them out to explore these areas. Now oh, he's not very happy. He's yellow. I think he needs a I think he needs a bit of a back rub when he comes home. It might end up it's not really worth sending that other beetle out to do anything. Okay, succeeded at our nest. I've uh, successfully completed well rested. I think that was the um, 
scavenging for supplies. So we've got some XP and we've got some leaves and stuff. Nice. Oh, so the bedding must run out. Oh, nice. You've done it as well. So we've got food and we've got bedding. Cool. Let's get these uh, rested. Uh, no, they're doing the dance again, look. They're doing the dance. Now, one thing I want to know, and it's really important to this game, is can I rename my ants? Uh, I can. Yes. So, NBF Gaming, welcome to the ant, ant world. And... Uh, Oh, I've completely. That's so embarrassing. I've completely forgotten Zerato Labs username. I think that's right. If it's not, oops, sorry. <laughs> so, you two of my first Beatles. I don't think that that's, that name's not right. I'm sure that's not right. Right, we're both healed up, so we are going to go to the exploration, and I'm going to send. Let's send off MBF Game into there. I reckon that's going to be more dangerous. Okay, 1 minute 45, and then, um, ooh, that looks really gloopy and horrible, so, Zorotto, actually we'll send Zorotto there. I've got a feeling you're a scientist, Beetle, so we're sending you there, so a minute and a half. Now, ah, there you go, <laughs> I think, I think, I think, uh, you, I don't know if that was MBF Gaming or if that was uh, if that was uh, Zerato. Okay, so what do these do? So these are all the stats that are along here, I'm assuming. So we've got strength, quickness, uh, regeneration. That's going to be health, perception, is it? Yep. Yeah. Uh, F is fighting. Oh, ferocity. And A is armor. Oh. So you can click to sort the beetles by that stat. Oh, that's interesting. So you can just do them by... So really, NBF Gaming is just like the best at everything apart from... Uh, arm. Ah, oh, interesting. So you've got more armour, but you've, um, you're weak in all the other areas. Hmm. Be interesting to see what happens when we level up here. Uh, I can't... Oh, we can actually speed up time as well. Nice, speed up time a little bit. Fastest speed, five speed. Okay, MBF game in, failed. Ah, you failed as well. Oh, you got an injury as well. Oops. Let's let them uh, recover and get a little bit of food then. Oh, it looks like you're both, they're both pretty... It looks like you're both. Oh, so even though the the green there, uh, they hit the health gauge here. Okay. Um, so I need these to both get the full health, I think. Let's put a few more things of food down. Let's do. So I reckon sugar cubes are going to be really good for all of this. Okay. Switch back to the beetles. Put an extra one down there. Oops, didn't really mean to. Oh, we've still got bed in. That's it. Go on, eat that, eat that delicious nom nom MBF gaming. There you go. I'm hoping your health is going to go back up. Let's see. Is it better to have you resting on a bed of grass, I wonder? Let's have a little look. Go on. Nice. Getting a little bit of rest there, I think. They're doing something, and the XP's going up. I think... <coughs> oh, excuse me. I think the health's going up. Kind of hard to tell. Let's speed up a little bit. Now, I don't know if that is, actually. That doesn't really seem to be going up at all, does it? Right, let's send them out on another mission then. Um, let's try doing a scouting mission again. Okay, and then let's get some more supplies from you. Send you both out. And we're going to speed this up. Nice. 
Oh, there is a combat mission there. So I might do a combat mission next. Okay, we've actually succeeded that one. MBF Gaming succeeded and explored the area around the Nesk. A new task was discovered, seeking sustenance. Nice. Uh, so we had one success and one failure. Right, let's go back to the uh, base. Go back to the beetle view. Hmm. Both on pretty similar things. I, I take it. I take it food's gone off there. That looked to me like food had actually gone off. Oh, that sucks. Right, let's do... So how does this breeding thing work then? Okay, the two parents are automatically chosen, but you can choose which beetle to breed by clicking on the parent slot. So click to breed these selected beetles. So I've only got two, so let's try and breed. Okay, there are nine possible offspring to choose from, and you get to keep the one you like best. Click on the offspring to view their stats on the right. When you decided which to keep, click this button. Okay, each of the arrows indicate a beetle has a superior or inferior stat. So, straight away, this one here, this has got better stats in everything, so... Yeah. <laughs> what? A baby beetle! Okay, let's go back to the... Um... The base then, how do I get out of this breeding thing? No. Nope. There you go, home. Okay, so we've got a little got a little baby beetle now. I take it I need to put some more food down then. Uh, click on that. And I'm assuming these pumpkin seeds last longer. Okay, let's put a few more beds down. Okay, so let's look at our beetles now then. Can I look at my new little baby one? There we go. Ah, oh, it's not yet fully grown. He's weaning. They can do anything a grown-up beetle can do, but it may require some goop. So I don't want to send them out and do anything, but I do want to send out the parents. So we're going to go out and get some food. And let's go and get some more food. Actually, let's go and get, you can go and get some resources. Okay, and then we're going to speed this up. Now, hopefully we'll be able to keep an eye on this for the bottle icon and see when you've finished being a baby. Okay. I'm going to slow this down. Well, speed up a little bit. I want to see the status message in real time. Okay. We've actually discovered some new stuff. We've got some popcorn, pumpkin seed, some more goop, and some XP. The rest of the gourd is too big to carry. Hmm. Ah, Zerato failed. Right, let's go back to the um, base. Okay, how are these doing then? They have nearly got full health. I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know why he's so happy. He's failing all the missions. Right. I think it's time. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I fancy having a little bit of a. Yeah, you, you have a social interaction. I fancy doing this combat mission, so let's send out MBF Gaming. Okay. Now, mm, now I've done that already. No, I don't need to do that one. Tell you what we'll do. We're going to send Zorotto out. We've tried that one, tried that one. Let's try a different nest. Let's try Red Rocks. And then we'll send Zorotto out on a... Scavenging mission, maybe? No, food. You can go and do some food. Okay, and then we're going to speed it up. So I like the way that you can do everything from this main menu. You don't have to necessarily go back into the uh, nest view. So we're going to see what happens when these do this. Ah, uh, you failed. You failed. It takes a lot longer to explore a region than uh, get resources, though, it seems to be. Um... Should we risk sending you out on an exploration, or should we just leave you in the base? You seem to be bonding with the, um... The ant, no. Well, the beetle, sorry. Part of me wonders if you're best off leaving them to, uh, do stuff like this, because I seem to get loads of XP. Woohoohoo! Level up. We can now have up to eight beetles in our nest. We've got some bread, and we've got some blueberry, we got another pet rock, and we got some more goop. Goopalicious. Nice! 
You have now leveled up. Oh yes, let's uh, let's check you out, bad boy. Um, let's send you out on a mission, and you can go and explore that region. Okay, and then we're gonna speed this up. MBF Games about to finish. Nice, succeeded at the Red Rock. So, I'm assuming I can do a combat mission there. Yeah, nice. Right, we're gonna let um, well, let's come back here first of all. Let's slow it down a little bit. Slow it down. Let's put some food down. Right, we'll just put two seeds down because no one else is there at the moment. I've oh, you're having fun with that rock. You're having fun with that rock. <laughs> We're both having fun with the rock. That's scary. Succeeded at Teres Humus. We've learned about the number of swarms. We've learned what type of enemies there are. We've learned how many enemies oppose us. Ooh, let's go back to the uh, let's go back to the map then. So, this is this nest. Explore Lost Beach. So I've done. Oh, that's the only one we've not done. So it's this one. This is the one we've just done. So, beetles of such high status display accelerated reflexes, quickness, ferocity, self-immolation. Our enemies here are an obstacle we can't yet overcome. It would be an error to face them head on. Avoid them and secure materials to make us stronger. Okay, that's pretty interesting. But, uh, yeah. So, uh, I'm liking this so far. This is really interesting. I'm going to leave, I'm gonna leave the uh, video there for now. I don't want to show off too much just yet. So, uh, let us know what you think of this. Uh, if you think this looks pretty interesting. I, I kind of like it. Sort of. Uh, I thought it was going to be a bit like... Um, uh, Simant or something if anyone remembers that but it's more um, it's more to do with the breeding I like it it's got like I, I wouldn't say Pokemon but it, it it has got that sort of genetic thing of breeding the best of ants and I mean the best beetle I keep calling them ants I've got ants on the brain yeah breeding the best beetle for the uh, task in hand but it, yeah pretty interesting I'm liking it so uh, anyway if you like that leave us a comment below and I'll upload some more of it anyway that's it for now so I'm Shirley Rocks and I'll see you next time